Hello everybody and welcome to another video with Ironguin. Yay! And today I am doing another Lego review. This is my review of set number 76108. It's called the Sanctum Sanctorum Showdown. It's from the Avengers Infinity War line, released in 2018 with 1,004 pieces, 4 minifigures, and 1 big fig. Now, I, I'm going to move my figure so you can see the set. I do not have the figures on display here, because I'm keeping them to the side to show you them later. I'm going to use Ebony Moore to show you any play features that need figures. So, let's get into a closer look at this set. So, let's start with the actual Sanctum, which is what this set's named after. The bottom here, there is um, Floor 1. It uses these nugget pieces. Let's see if I can get one off. There we go. These types of pieces in grey for brickwork design. And it has a stud on here for... Actually, wait. I was about to show you something that I realised I forgot to do a bit at the beginning. So, these thingies here are power burst pieces. These are designed to fit in minifigure hands and to be them using their powers. So there's blue ones to show Iron Man's repulsors and orange ones to show Doctor Strange's um, magic. Anyway. The reason I brought you back up to show you that is because I need this to show like Iron Man shooting the building. That's what that's designed for. I think that's a cool design and it works well. On the bottom there's a pavement design. There are clips all the way up to show figures climbing up the building. It's mainly designed to show Spider-Man climbing up, but I'll show you the Spider-Man figure later. As I said, I'm just going to use Ebony Moore here. And yeah, it's also got these studs, which are for the Power Blast, but you can also put the feet on there so that he can climb up and that works for all the studs and all the clips all the way up the next level has these pole thingies and a brownie background it has a bit of a ledge there that you could put someone in but there's no way to access that for me the inside and yeah it has windows same design as the bottom yeah on the final floor of this Sanctum, there is the famous window with the funky logo. And yeah, it's got a slope design, which is because it's all on a hinge, so it can all lift up as well. But it's all got a slope design because of that. And each side also has a design like that. And it has windows, the same design as below, but in black rather than white. And on the roof, there's a bit of a fence with some brown tubes. And you can show people watching the view. If you want to show two people confronting, they need to have one leg on, one leg off. Now, if we go to the other side, we have Pepe's Pizza. Oh, I forgot to mention back over here that there is a sticker on the door for 177A. That's a sticker. Yeah. It's showing the door number and stuff. Then here, there's a sticker on the door that says open. There's a sticker on the window that says Pepe's Pizza. There's a sticker there that says Bleecker Street, whatever that means. Then if we go to the the next two levels are pretty much mirrored. They have exactly the same windows in exactly the same places. They have fire escapes in exactly the same place with ladders that fold down. These are nicely designed with all their pieces on hinges pretty much. And yeah. 
just well designed. There's a sticker on the window there to show a web. This bit is all for Peter Parker's apartment. Then here is a stand thing, which is the first play feature for me to show you, where you put the figure on there. And I'm actually, so that I can show you this best, going to need both my hands. So I'm going to put down my phone. You unclip this thing, which isn't designed to be clipped there. I put it there. And there's a water tower here, which is a bit wobbly, could be stronger, but oh well. And yeah, you turn that to wind up this rope, so you can pull the figure back. Or if you give the rope a little bit of slack, then bring the phone back here, push that lever you saw on the top, you can throw the figure off the building. And that's designed so that Spider-Man can look like he's hanging from his webs. And you can unwind it to show him going down. That's a little bit hard to do. You need to use your hands for that. But winding it back up works really well to show Spider-Man, or in this case, Ebony Moore, climbing up the building. The reason I'm using Ebony Moore is because he's like the only figure in the set that doesn't have like a cape or extra arms or something like that. So... This is what pushed him off. It's just a red thing on the back that you push forward and yeah, just pushes him off. And the very last thing on the outside of the building, down here, or on the side here, there is a sticker of a web. There's This is like Peter Parker's corner as if no one else comes here because it has things about webs. It says Liz in a heart, which in Spider-Man Homecoming is his girlfriend. And then it has a spider symbol. It has his phone webbed up there, a slice of pizza left on the floor, and a bin. And inside that bin is two bones. I think the instructions only say to put one bone there, but it comes with a spare bone, so I put that in there as well. I could be wrong with that. It could say to put two bones there, but oh well. And yeah, the phone is printed, and so is the pizza. There's a sticker on the side of this mailbox here. That says, um, crime across the streets. It's crime floods the streets, sorry. If you open that, it has three pieces with identical stickers of a rolled up crime floods the streets. And these are three stickered newspapers. I'm trying to get the other one. There's a pavement design on the front here. And yeah. That's, yeah, that's it for the outside of the set. It does have detailed interiors. So let's now take a look at that. So, one thing quickly, the these two buildings, the Sanctum Sanctorum and Peter's apartment, would not actually be next to each other in the universe. So it's designed that you can hinge it to make them look like different buildings. Or you can hinge it all the way round to make them look like they're on parallel streets. And that is a web design. And if you do that, it kind of looks like the little corner piece. I just dropped my phone. The little corner piece is a bit out of nowhere. So you can turn it and put it on this side. And then when you fold it to a corner, it has that filling it in. And yeah, that's a nicely designed build. It works, and it's designed to work. So yeah, that's all good. And that has a one Technic pin and a Technic axle. The axle's just there to make it that once it's on, it doesn't move very much, but the axle actually doesn't hold it on, just the pin. So, now let's take a look on the inside of these two buildings. So, the Sanctum first. Ground floor. Let's just take a quick second to look at that chair. That chair is a new design that I've never seen, and it's well designed. It uses the regular preformed Lego chair piece here. 
which comes out with the figure whenever you put the figure in, but oh well. You can't change that. And they've built an armchair design around it, which makes it look big, grand, and comfy. There's a window there, which you can't really see much through at the moment, but if you turn it, it becomes a proper window. And yeah, there's an axe there. There's the other side of that door, which you can open to see the sticker again. And here is a box. There is nothing in the box. But on the top is a weapon with an orange thing, which is meant to like cut things down, and a chain so you can swing it round. And yeah, this same weapon comes in the other Sanctum set for the Doctor Strange movie. There's a stickered scroll on there, which is in another language that I don't read. And a sword there, just a golden sword. Then on the level above, there's a sticker in the back that actually has a portal design with the sling rings, which actually is a portal showing here, the sticker on the side here. And there's a sticker there showing a portal, which shows the photo of Wong up there. So that's just a little connection. And there is a radio as well. There's a spear and a staff either side of this window, and there's a stickered tile there with some sort of book. Here is a chest, and inside are two of the daggers that they use for Drax. They're probably not designed for Drax, but that's what I know them for. And here is a bookcase that has an Oscar and a, um, sorry, a, uh, my bad, uh, some books, some tiles stuck together to look like books. I think that looks nice. And if you hinge the whole thing, then turn this, it launches out a wall. It should, I'm probably just doing it wrong. Let's just turn the whole thing back round to look at it from this angle. And then if I put my hand in there and I turn it, it launches out the wall. And there you can see the mechanism that does that. And the time stone is hidden in there. And that is hidden from the bad guys by Doctor Strange. And yeah, it's a time stone. But you can see it through the window, which kind of makes the whole point of hiding it behind a wall a bit stupid if the wall just has a window in it. So, now the top floor of the Sanctum has like a desk. Another Oscar, but that's just because the set came with two, and I put the other one there. It has a candle, and another stickered book. And then here are two stickers. There's one in there, and one here, of letters. The, the same one, I think. In there are two goblets. A gold one and a clear one. And up there are books. On this side, there's a skull below. And books up at the top. And I am sitting on the cable connecting my phone to my headset. And there is the roof from the back. So, now we can go down to the pizza restaurant. There is a shawarma. Yeah, this is meant to be the shawarma restaurant from the... End credit scene of the first Avengers. So don't go around thinking it's just a random pizza restaurant that has nothing to do with anything. It is actually the Swarmer restaurant from the first Avengers movie end credit scene. So there's a fire extinguisher here. So that the innocent people can actually defend themselves. Sadly there's no pizza chef or pizza server which is a bit annoying but... You can put Spider-Man in there to say that he's doing part-time work. And there is a sticker with the different prices. There's a pizza here. Which can be taken off. That's not stuck on there. And you can then take this printed pizza and put it inside of the pizza oven in the back. Because it fits. And you can then take it out again and put it on display just here there's a printed till there and here's how the mechanism to launch the window works did I show you that mechanism 
Actually, I may not have actually shown you it. So basically, there's a little switch on the inside. If you push it, it knocks out the window. And you can see how that works from this side. I'm struggling to get the window in now. Give me a sec. And there we go. There's a window. There's a brown tube here and an ore, which is used for the thingy they flip the pizzas on. So, here is a sticker showing a map and a spider web, because this is the ground floor of Peter Parker's apartment. Here's his office, with a sticker tile for sketchings of his suit, a print for his keyboard, and a sticker for his computer, which can move for some reason. It looks like a desk. It has a vial of web fluid with no printing or stickers. And a um, non-stickered or printed glowy thing from the Spider-Man Homecoming movie. And here's a lamp which moves. And yeah, looks cool. And here is just a outside bit in the corridor with a pile of boxes to show that he's recently moved in. And that says Pete's stuff on a sticker. Then in the top bit is a bed, a web sticker, and you can put a figure in that bed nicely. It's a well done, reasonably sized bed with a couple slices of pizza, a sticker of Captain America that says, I want you to stay in school, some stickers of people, and a leaflet where the words are too small to read. And then here's just an empty corridor, which you can put a person in. And then on the other side, there's a lever. If I can find it, there we go. And if you pull it out, it just does a trap door that dumps him in there. To keep him away from Peter's room. And yeah. To reset that, you just need to lift it up and push back in the thing from the other side. Then on the roof, it's a flat roof that you can put a character on with much more standing room. And here's the lever that activates that, and here's a better look at the water tower. And that is it for the main build of this set. Let's now move on to the four minifigures and the big fig. I am just setting up my separate review station for figures. And yeah. Let's bring the camera round to that. And here it is, with much better lighting. So, sorry this has been a long video. It is a pretty big set with a lot to talk about. And yeah, let's start with the figure you have seen a lot in this video. Like, the figure you've seen the most. It is Ebony Moore. He has a nice face print. He has a detailed torso and leg print. No side leg or side arm. He does have a back head printing and a back torso. And I'm agreeing with Tony Stark here. He definitely has some resemblance to Squidward. And if you lift up his arm, he has a piece on the side where if you push it in, it will launch very well. This is to show him using his magic to combat Doctor Strange. Speaking of Doctor Strange, let's bring him out. Here he is. So he has two of the hand brackets that connect these power burst pieces to his hands. These are to show him creating shields and using his magic. So if we remove those, you can get a better look at his torso. It has the Eye of Agamodo printed on there, and a print around for the rest of the detail. Printed legs, no side leg or side arm printing. He has a nice face print with actually print on his hair, and he does have a back face print which is more angry, and that's what that looks like with the hair piece. And he has a cape which uses the old papery thing for the top, but the soft fabric for the bottom. 
he has a back torso print to show the detail of his robes. And that is it for Doctor Strange. Now let's move on to Spider-Man. Yes, that's a good choice. Spider-Man. Spider-Man is in his Iron Spider suit, even though in this scene in the movie he isn't in the Iron Spider. He gets it after this scene when they're in space. He has a white version of the piece Ebony Moore has to show his web, and he, you can shoot that. He does have arm print on both sides, no side leg printing. He doesn't have dual molded legs for some reason, but he does have print on them. He has a detail printed torso and printed face, with webbing printing continuing on the back. He has the Outrider piece for the neck bracket, with the four Iron Spider arms. If you do not like that, you can easily remove it to get a better look at the back torso. And then it's just a basic Spider-Man. That should be dual molded, and luckily in the 2019 sets, they have finally given him dual molding. So, if we now look at the figure of Iron Man, we can see him here. I don't have him on the stand, because he won't actually fit on the stand with his leg thing. This is to show him using his feet to launch. And if you remove that, that's a separate piece. Now you can put him on a stand. He has this and this to show him shooting his Iron Man repulsors. And if you move that, you can see that this is by far very the most detailed figure in the set. You can see the torso print and leg print, no side leg or side arm printing. He does have back print and he has a well detailed helmet the regular Iron Man helmet mould. If you lift it up, you can see his regular face in there, but on the back he has a new um, HUD display on his face. And that's what that looks like with the helmet. And you can close that to see that it makes no difference to which face you have once the helmet is closed. So, now if we look at the final figure of this set, we can see that it is not a minifigure, it is in fact a big fig of Cull Obsidian. Uh, yeah, he has a well detailed print on his torso that shows him as who he is. And on the back, I don't know if you can see this on the camera, but this top bit is actually lighter than the bottom bit, they're not the same colour, sadly. But he has a well detailed head mould, which is different to any big fig head mould. It's unique, it's got a nice print. He has a shoulder pad print, which is new. Well, not print, a mould, which isn't on any other big fig. Actually, it might be on the Hulk from Thor Ragnarok. I don't know, I never got that set. But he does have his hammers connected to each other by a chain, so he can throw one. And use the chain to bring the uh, to bring it back. And yeah, that's Cole Obsidian. He has the regular big fig articulation that's slightly different to minifigure because all it is is the arms and the wrists. So that is it for the figures and the build. So we now move on to the instructions and the box which is a very big box like it's an enormous box so much so i'm now what you can't see because i've left the camera there oh i i missed a play feature i'm really sorry about that i'm gonna bring you back over to the um build which is here so you can see that's the window above peter's bed on the side here, there is actually a web stuck to that. If you pull down on the web, it will launch out a window. Because, not like this set doesn't have enough window removing play features. So yeah, that's it for the build. Which I did think was it for the build anyway. 
And now let's look at the box. So it's a very big box. It has a detailed image with everything on it. It has the name, the number, the age. And it says Avengers Infinity War at the bottom corner. It has the figures listed there. And if you turn it round, please don't fall over. There we go. I thought I was going to knock my review station over. Here is the inside printed on the back of the box with all the play features. And there is a lot of them. So, now let's look at the instructions. So this is like a book, a really thick instruction book. Not a booklet, a book. Look how thick it is. It has the same image on the front as the box. And if you flick to the very back, it has some um, ads. It has these three sets. I have those two. I've reviewed both of them and I've ordered that. It will be coming soon. soon. But as of this video, I have now reviewed all of the Infinity War sets that I own. And here are all of the stones telling you which one comes in which set. I have the space, I have the power, I have the soul, and I have the time. And by next week, I'll have reality as well. And then here is a Lego Life ad with Iron Man. Oh, and win with the pirate. So, that is it for this set. All in all, I think this is an amazing set. I really like it, and I'm very grateful to have it. I have my grandparents to thank for that. And, yeah. Sorry this has been a longer video than normal. But... Sorry this has been a longer video than normal, but I decided that I needed to review this set in one video. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to tell me your opinion of this set in the comments below. Bye!